Welcome to Shine Week with Steelworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what are we going to do? Let me explain to you a little bit what's going to go on. Uh, this is what I'm going to call Shine Week. So every day this week we got a new moonshine flavor. Remember we just a while back, we not long ago, we made the, uh, the base spirit for moonshine. This was a corn moonshine. Don't that look so damn beautiful? Anyway, so what we're going to do is every day this week we're going to make a different flavored moonshine and hopefully you can come back and, every day and see what we're getting into. Uh, I did take suggestions from everybody and I tried to pick out some good ones. They were all good. Uh, but I picked out some of the favorites and we're going to make them and uh, on Sunday me and Laura were going to taste them and that ought to be very enjoyable for me anyway um, so what are we going to do now I ain't going to tell you which one I'm going to make tomorrow I'm only going to make you tell you what I'm going to make today and what I wanted to make today was one that is so simple to make and a lot of people make it but I'm going to put it after anyway. It is called uh, Jolly Rancher's Moonshine. So simple to make it, it just makes your head spin. So, what are we going to do? Okay, so I got, uh, and, and what I will do is put the ingredients in the description, okay? So, first of all, I got a half a cup of water. And what we're going to do is make a little bit of a uh, green apple syrup first. So, the uh, way we're going to make that is... A little bit of water. Let me turn the heat on. Alright, and then what we're going to do is add half a cup of sugar to that. Okay? So what we want to do is get that melted. And I got some. This is green apple Kool-Aid. That will add some intense flavor to this moonshine. Alright, so let's I don't know if I'm going to use the whole packet or not. Let's, let's check this out and see what we're going to do. It sure does smell like uh, green apple. Let me sprinkle some of that in there. That's going to do a nice flavor. I'm going to use the whole pack. There's the whole pack. What I am making is just one quart. What I want to do is uh, melt all of this uh, sugar and filet. think it's pretty much melted. I mean it will dissolve in the uh, alcohol anyway. Okay, let me shut that off. Okay, where's my little funnel? Okay, so that is melted. Alright, give me a good clean jar here and I think I'm going to use 15 Jolly Ranchers this is about the toughest part of making Jolly Rancher moonshine will be opening all the Jolly Ranchers up and this is going to be uh, the green apple Jolly Ranchers because they're my favorite There's five, six, and these should melt. I mean, you could put these in the pan, but I've done it in the past, trying to melt these candies in the pan. It is a mess. I don't. I just didn't like doing it that way. But they should melt in here in a few days.
So if the flavor is too intense or if the flavor is not, uh, not intense enough, you can always, you know, add a little bit to it and let it sit for a couple more days. But I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Okay, so there's the candies are in there. Alright, so what we want to do is add in our... We don't have to add all that, but we're going to add... I added that much. Should I do some more? There ain't that much left. Okay. That is a green color. And that hot liquid will help. Okay, so let me let this cool down for a minute because I don't want to put that alcohol in that. It's pretty warm. Okay, so I just put that in a little bit of cold water and that cooled that down. So now let's add in our our spirits. That is one intense flavor or smell. Okay, look at that. Ain't that pretty? Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that infuse and melt them uh, candies down. And after a few days, they should be, if you wanted to, you could drink it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm not drinking anything until Sunday. And then uh, we'll have that tasting of all, we're making six different moonshines. And, uh, is it six? Yes. Six different moonshines and... Uh, We'll have a tasting on that Sunday, then like I said, that all hopefully that'd be pretty interesting. Uh, so this is day one of Moonshine Week. I uh, hope you all stick around all week. I'm looking forward to this. Okay? Alright, well the last thing I got to say is hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers everybody. Number one. <laughs>